Story 27 of Uncle Wiggily's Travels. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Lynn Thompson. Uncle Wiggily's Travels by Howard Roger Garris. Story 27 Uncle Wiggily and the Wibble Wobbles. Uncle Wiggily, the nice old gentleman rabbit, was sleeping on the soft moss under a clump of ferns, and over his head the bluebell flower was nodding in the night breeze, keeping watch for danger. For you remember, I dare say, that the flower had promised to awaken Uncle Wiggily, in case any harm happened to come near him. Hour after hour crept along, like a little mouse after a bit of cheese, and still the rabbit slumbered. And still the bluebell nodded her drowsy head for she would not go to sleep while she was keeping watch I think I will just take one little nap said the flower to herself after a bit just shut my eyes for a little while So she did so and then all of a sudden as quietly as a clock when it isn't ticking There came creeping and crawling through the woods the bad scalery tailery alligator he was looking around sniffing and snooping and scuffing for something to eat and pretty soon he sniffed and snuffed until he came to where uncle wiggily was fast asleep dreaming that he had found his fortune and the worst part of it was that the bluebell flower also was sleeping and she couldn't tell the rabbit what was going to happen oh i'll have a fine meal in about a minute said the scalery tailery alligator as he smacked his big jaws then he shuffled up closer to uncle wiggily and was about to bite him when all of a sudden the nutmeg grater tail of the scalery alligator accidentally hit against the bluebell flower and she awoke quickly tinkle 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 ding dong ding dong rang out the bluebell just like an alarm clock in the morning ding dong dong tinkle tinkle up jumped uncle wiggily rubbing the sleep out of his eyes he looked through the woods and by the light of the silvery moon he saw the grinning alligator with his open mouth close to him run uncle wiggily run cried the bluebell and then she made such a jingling jangling noise that all the birds in the woods awakened and by the moonlight they flew down to that alligator and stuck him with their sharp bills so that he was glad to crawl away and he didn't forget to take his scalery tail with him either My that was a narrow escape said the rabbit. I am glad he didn't eat me So am I said the bluebell and I'll not go to sleep again either. I promise you So the flower stayed wide awake the rest of the night and the rabbit slept on the soft moss and in the morning he awakened and ate his breakfast out of his valise and then saying good-bye to the flower and thanking her he set off once more to seek his fortune Uncle Wiggily traveled on and on looking at all the places he could think of for some gold But he couldn't seem to find any and then just when he got on top of a little hill and Started down the other side he heard someone crying No, I'm just a bit wrong. He heard three someone's crying three separate and distinct cries oh dear i've got a sliver in my foot blubbered one voice and i've stepped on a stone and there's a big bruise on my foot sniffled another voice oh none of you is as badly off as i am quivered a third voice for i've cut my two feet on a piece of glass oh whatever shall we do my i wonder who they can be Thought the rabbit for he could see no one as yet Maybe those are the little children of the burglar fox and if they are then the burglar fox must be somewhere around here And I had better be careful of myself Well the rabbit was about to turn and run back down the hill up which he had just come when he saw something white fluttering like a piece of paper a Fox isn't white said uncle Wiggily to himself at least not the foxes around here that must be something else 
so he took another careful look and he saw three nice little duck children i guess you remember their names lulu and alice and jimmy wibblewobble and as soon as they saw the old gentleman rabbit those three duck children exclaimed oh joy oh happiness and they didn't think about the slivers and the bruises and the cuts in their feet any more my goodness me sakes alive and a potato pancake cried uncle wiggily what are you children doing so far away from home you must be lost we are lost said jimmy wibblewobble all three of us yes went on lulu we are certainly lost and it's jimmy's fault for he asked us to come oh it's not all jimmy's fault said alice gently as she looked at her brother you see uncle wiggily we are visiting our aunt letty the old lady goat who lives in the country near here we are at her house for our vacation and today we started to go to the woods to have a good time but we took the wrong path and we are lost and i have a big sliver in my foot yes and i stepped on a stone and have a big bruise whimpered jimmy and i've cut both feet on a piece of glass cried lulu wibblewobble and oh we are so miserable well well exclaimed the rabbit in a jolly voice this is too bad i must see what i can do for you first we will take the sliver out of alice's foot and he did so with a sharp needle it hurt a little but alice never cried now for jimmy's bruise said the rabbit and he took some soft green leaves and made a plaster of them and with some ribbon grass for a string he tied the plaster on jimmy's foot and that was almost well then uncle wiggily made a little salve from some gum out of a cherry tree and bound up the glass cuts in lulu's feet now i will lead you to your aunt letty's house said the rabbit and you won't be lost any more so the three wibble wobble children felt much better and happier and when they were almost at their aunt's house a big hawk swooped down out of the sky and tried to bite lulu but uncle wiggily hit the bad bird with his barber pole crutch and the hawk flew away flopping his wings and tail oh how good and brave and strong you are cried lulu to uncle wiggily and then all three duck children kissed him soon they were at the goat lady's home and aunt letty was very glad to see the rabbit gentleman and also glad to have the children back so she invited uncle wiggily to stay to supper and very glad he was to do so he also stayed all night at aunt letty's house and he had quite an adventure too which i shall tell you about directly when in case the fire shovel doesn't slide downhill on a cake of ice and break its roller skates the next bedtime story will be about uncle wiggily and the berry bush end of story 27